Well, it's almost Christmas, guys. Actually, when this video comes out, it might be Christmas. It might have already been Christmas. But anyway, let's give this poor hatchet a little bit of Christmas love. I'm wondering if it might be a, for doing um, toffee, like a toffee head, like a, almost like a toffee hammer. Because it's kind of small. And whoever put this handle on here, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, it's hideous, but anyway, I guess people have a go at doing and repairing stuff or whatever. But, let's see what we can do with this little thing. I'm sure we can make it look a little bit better. So, stick with me and let's see what we can do with it. This is not a paid sponsor, but I'm telling you, this tool, it looks like a drill. It is actually a sander, five inch sander. And uh, I love this tool. I have put, I'll put a link in the description for you. If you want to be sanding down metal or anything like that, this thing is absolutely amazing. It's not just the random orbital, it just it spins. This is like a regular sander. But the way that it's designed, you can hold it easy. And uh, this makes a great job of taking this metal down. Okay, we're getting into the really fine grit now. It's a 600. Okay, went inside to get some wood. I have to keep the wood inside because it's um, temperature controlled. Otherwise, was it warps and stuff. It's going to be for the handle. We'll do something with these. I got no idea what sort of wood that is. It's very dense. But anyway, done that, and the wife handed me this. Ooh. It says while you're out there. Why don't you go ahead and stick it in that evaporous stuff and see and clean up my cast iron skillets. So I guess a bonus little thing for this video, you see I'm going to dip these and you'll see what they look like afterwards. Alright, let's see how clean this come out. No rust in that anymore. I think she'll be pleased with that. Lovely. 
Okay, forgot to film that last little bit. Um, this is a piece of hackberry, and I'm, this is going to be the spacer. The I'll show you. It's going to sit in there like that. Just got to take fix it down a little bit to make it fit better. That's what I'm better to do now. Okay, this is Hackberry, and the grain orientation is okay for doing knife scales, whatever, handles of some sorts. Now the orientation of this wood is wrong, but I'm hoping that the this will strengthen, the pluses all going to be glued and epoxy together. So, we'll see. This type of wood, I've got absolutely no clue what it is. It's a very hard wood. I'm going to cut it as purple. Don't think it's purple heart, it's too, it's too dark for that. Um, Let's lay this out and uh, shape it up and glue it up and see what we have. Okay, I'm gonna. You see, I've got the angle I just had marked off. I'm gonna shape that before we put the handle together because it's very difficult to shape it once it's on the blade or handle, whatever you want to call it. Alright, time to get messy again, so out come the gloves. Oh, Merry Christmas. And subscribe guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because if you subscribe, if you like my stuff, and Google sees fit, or YouTube sees fit not to show, show you my stuff, they won't send it to you. But if you have the notification bell down as well, they will show it to you in your notifications. See how much of a mess I can get in with this.
That's 400 grit. Alright, 600. Alright, 800. And I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna cover it in the mineral oil. Because I have a feeling this is like, if it's like Purple Heart, this, this purple gets dull. That's why it didn't come out when I was on the original piece of wood because when the oxygen gets to it, so I want to get it covered up as quick as possible. I'll tell you what guys, I'll definitely be very interested to know what this wood is because it's amazing. And I would like to get some more to make some knives and stuff because look at that, that's fantastic. That is unbelievable how beautiful that is. Love it. Give it a little bit of polish. This is the metal polish. Well, what do you guys think? I'm liking this wood. And I'm pretty sure this is for chipping off like uh, toffee because the head is nowhere near as big as a regular hatchet uh, but it does have a nail puller on it so who knows but tell me in the comments I'm sure you've, everyone's got an opinion as to what it is this won't be used for breaking off toffee or for chopping wood so it really doesn't matter I guess
And yes, it is sharp. What do you ask? It's a fucking whack, but. Up. Anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you like that one. Guys, it's enjoyable to make it. I know that for sure. This for a handle. I'm gonna be staring at that for a couple of weeks. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you subscribe to me. There's gonna be plenty more coming. This just is like a little infill job. I've got lots of actual tools coming. And uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you all have a blessed day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.